Hey YouTube friends, some people ask me to explain how I do the alignment, like in more depth. So here goes, I got 10 minutes, wish me luck. First thing you gotta do is get the information from nostalgiaair.org for adjusting the Model 16. And this shows sections 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the tuning capacitor. And you're just making adjustments on sections 1 and 2. And 3 and 4 are preset at the factory, so please don't touch those. Because Philco says you really mess the radio up if you do that. And these are the uh, IF transformers, and it tells you the proper sequence of how to adjust those. So then the next thing you do, or maybe the first thing you do, is that you warm the radio up for like an hour. That's what I did. And you warm your single generator up for, for like an hour, and everything is like nice and stable and all that nice stuff. Then you adjust the IF. Well, I'll tell you how I made mistakes on this thing, so like you guys don't make the same mistakes. So... The single generator, I checked, checked it at 460 kilocycles using an oscilloscope, and that was like dead on, but I should use the oscilloscope to check the higher frequencies, and they were off from the dial. So that was like mistake number one. So never assume that the single generator is correct, especially something like a 50-year-old Heath kit that you got on eBay for 40 bucks. And it, these, these things post out like lots of harmonics too and all that jazz. So I was trying to align the radio to harmonics and not really on the, on the station, uh, not really on the frequency. So anyway, what I ended up doing was trying to follow the procedure and I ended up screwing up. So I'll tell you how I ended up doing the, the adjustments. What I did was I set the, um, the radio to 10 megahertz or close by. I tried to get WWV. Actually, there it is there. I got lucky. It's coming in kind of faint. It's not the right time of day for 10 megahertz. Okay, so what I did was I, I set the section one of the compensating capacitor on the tuning condenser. I set that to 10 megahertz. So I knew that was right. At least I knew one thing on the radio was right. So then what I did was I set that to 10.8 megahertz and then I worked backwards. What I did was I set the single generator according to 10.8 megahertz here. And I was able to find the correct spot on the dial where 3.6 megahertz should be. And that was actually like in a couple places where I was getting a single. But I knew I was right because when I went to band 5, it says you're going for 21.6 megahertz, which is another harmonic. And that was off a little bit, and I'll tell you how I corrected that. There is no adjustment for section 5. So what I did was I used the, the adjustment tool here, non-conductive, and I gently bent the wires going to the oscillator coil in one way and the other, and I brought it in on 21.6 megahertz. And what I mean brought it in, I brought the harmonic that you're looking for at the 3.6 megahertz, and I found it at 21.6 megahertz. And then I went back to band 4, and I checked it on band 4, and that was correct. That was at 10.8 megahertz. So the two bands are 10.8 megahertz and 21.6 megahertz. And, and after I played with it for like a little bit, I, I knew that bands 4 or 5 are correct. So then I had to move to range, range or band number 3, or range 3 they call it. And that was done at 5.2 megacycles. So let me just read what it says here. And it says at this point... You do it at 5.2 megacycles. At this point, the second harmonic of the oscillator circuit and the receiver beats with the third harmonic of the 3.6 megacycle crystal and the single generator. This adjustment is accomplished by means of range 3 compensating condenser mounted under the chassis reached from beneath. So you got to get one of these to find your range 3 compensating uh, condenser. And let me just tell you like a tip, like right there. It's like... When you're like underneath the radio and stuff, um, this is what I did for safety. I kept one hand in my pocket like at all times, and the radio was secure. So you don't want to like grab the chassis with one hand and try to hold it and try to make an adjustment, because if you slip, you really get electrocuted. It wouldn't be a good scene. 
So you keep one in your pocket, and I, I was like standing on a rubber mat too with rubber shoes. So if I slipped, you know, hopefully it, like, it's not going to go like like through me. And you ought to be using a um, a, a non-conductive tool to adjust these these condensers under the radio. And let's see, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's another one here. And this one, I think, was like a screwdriver kind of adjustment on that one. Don't quote me on that. Now, that was a hex head there. And they were all, I think they were all hex heads. So you got one, two, three, and four. Anyway, so just try to be safe when you do this. So after you do 5.2 megacycles on range three, you uh, go to range two and you adjust the 3.6 megacycles. And it says that you should disconnect the antenna and ground from the single generator because the signal is like, like way too strong. And you could just like lay the, you could just lay the wire, you know, next to the radio and it's strong enough to pick up. So you adjust 3.6 megacycles. It says this adjustment is made with a compensated condenser range two policing aircraft mounted on section two of the tuning condenser. So now you're, you're back on top of the radio again with section two and you make that adjustment. It says, next in sequence, the station selector is set to 1.57 megacycles, range 2, by approximating the correct position on the dial. The second harmonic of the receiver oscillator beats with a fundamental frequency of the 3.6 megacy megacycle crystal and the single generator. Normally, it is necessary to replace the antenna connection at this time for this test. Accomplishes, account, this is accomplished by means of range 2 series compensating condenser reach from underside the chassis. So again, you go to the next one and you use the safety or the procedures like I, I said, you know, just try to be real safe because, you know, you don't want to get, get hurt by doing this. So then, um, next adjustment is the range one shunt compensating condenser made at 1400 kilocycles. So what I did there was that's down at the AM band. So I use 1380 local station. So I adjusted that using the 1380 kilocycles. So that that's good. I mean, you could do that. And that was easier trying to find 175. It's set here to set it and try to get the eighth harmonic of the single generator at 175 kilocycles and I could not find that <laughs> so I just used 1380 kilocycles on on the regular broadcast band that seemed to work fine then it says the next step was to adjust the compensating condenser um, at 520 kilocycles so what I did was there I kind of cheated a little on that too I went down to 590 kilocycles, and I, no, I adjusted that to a, a local really station in Atlanta. Really, anything. So Wait, no, you're always on time. after no, after I went it after I did all that, I went through the whole dial, and the dial is is really accurate. There's 640. It's right on the money. It's WSB at 75. It's right on the money. The dial is really accurate on AM, and it's accurate on all the bands. So the next step here was. It, it just sums it up and says, for proper adjustment of the Model 16 receiver, the procedure must be followed in the sequence given. And that's 100% that's true. It says, the adjustment should not be undertaken without full information and proper equipment. So, and you know, they were really smart. They used a, uh, a crystal control oscillator just set for 3.6 megahertz. So that, that was like really smart of Philco. Anyway, folks, uh, hey, I did it under 10 minutes or less. And that's, that's the best I could do, folks. But once you get all the information here um, and just follow those tips I gave, you know, uh, you'll be okay. You know, it's, it's not really that hard. It took like about an hour to do the adjustments and just work slow and be patient. And, you know, just, uh, and it, it comes out really good. I mean, this radio is a great performer. Take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Take us to five that will be underway. If you have not yet had an opportunity to join us 
at one of our habitat built over our prior 14 years. This is 